2K11 is considered the greatest 2K ever during its prime. As Michael Jordan on the cover, my career was simple, and yet, Jordan deserves to be on this cover. NBA 2K12 had the covers of Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and Larry Bird. Um, this game is considered to be one of the greatest games. It has new modes, such as, like, create a legend, and also, like, being able to create, uh, not create, uh, being able, be able to play with historic teams. And there is another mode. My career was pretty simple. Um, another mode had, like, you can play with legends, uh, with, uh, any, like, any player, uh, as a rookie. Yeah. Yeet. Another, another great game was created, NBA 2K13. Blake Griffin, Kevin Durant, and Derrick Rose were on, are on the cover. It featured some new soundtracks with downloadable soundtracks for the game. Um, my career seems pretty well. The All Star Weekend featured some like downloadable some new stuff like the Slam Dunk contest, stuff like three three point contest. Um, there was a shoe creator. And you could customize customize a shoe with a brand like Nike Under Armour. Yeah, that's my take on this game. Even though I didn't play it, but yeah, I think it's a good game. NBA Two K Fourteen. It's a great game mode with LeBron James. Features like a game mode about him. My career is awesome. And yeah. NBA 2K15 was another great uh, game with Kevin Durant on the cover. Featured a new scanning system. My career was upgraded. Great game. NBA 2K16 features Stephen Curry, James Harden, and Anthony Davis on the cover. Um, a new mode called MyGM is introduced. My career gets yet another upgrade. It's pretty cool to see how they're doing right now. With the, with the basis of the five best games. NBA 2K11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 with this game mode. With these games. Sorry. NBA 2K21 is here today. Damian Lillard is on the cover. It's a nice game. MLB 2K5, the first. That was a good game of the series of MLB 2K5. It was a great review. MLB Major League Baseball. 2K6 was a favorable, favorable review. Um, it was going to the next generation of consoles. MLB 2K8 featured a new cover athlete. Had some somewhat okay reviews and improvised on features. MLB 2K9 was a very bad game, apparently. Try to make some new improvements. There was also a spin-off game. MLB 2K10 did improve on their features. It was the 10th anniversary. And it was an okay game. MLB 2K11 varied from console to console with its unique features it had okay reviews mob 2k12 
um, had some okay reviews, improved on some things, and was an okay game. But some say that it was, um, uh, PS2 players would t say it was kind of like 2K's, M uh, MLB 2K6 based off graphics. MLB 2K13 was the last game of the series because of the reviews or lack of features in the game. Yeah, it's sad to see M 2K stop making MLB video games. Hope it comes to the market sometime soon. Hi, NHL 2K Mobile. Um, this was an okay game with okay reviews. Can we have NHL 2K games back? Who says yes? NHL 2K21 was exclusively on mobile and Wii. It was a very poor game in my opinion with the reviews that I looked at. Yeah. Hmm. NHL 2K10, the 10th anniversary of NHL 2K, had Alexander o Ovechkin on the cover was a great game with good reviews. NHL 2K9 was also going to next gen. Had some okay reviews. Yeah. <laughs> NHL 2K8 was released. Had okay reviews. Introduced a whole new face-off face -off system. And that was it. Wow. NHL 2K7 was an okay game with okay reviews and improvements on gameplay. I did some new features with camera angles and stuff, and a new camera angle called Cinemation. NHL 2K6 was a great game, it had great reviews, brought some features from ESPN, NHL 2K5, and has a Dallas Stars cover. NFL 2K was the first game of its series, had some great reviews, and it added a lot of new things. And it was a challenger to Mata NFL. NFL 2K1 was a great game with Randy Moss on the cover and improved on some of the features and brought in new features, and it had great reviews. Yaw yeet. NFL 2K2 was another great game with great reviews and improved on old features, brought in new features, and, um, improved on the gameplay. NFL 2K3 had Brian Urlacher, had great features, had great reviews, improved on old features and gameplay. What is there more to say about this series? NFL 2K4 was another great game. The leap from NFL 2K3 to 2K4 was a huge jump with new gameplay features. ESPN NFL 2K5 might be the greatest football game in the 2000s and ever, possibly. It was the last in the series because... EA signed an exclusive rights deal with the NFL to make simmed games the only company. This killed off NFL 2K, NFL Game Day, and NFL Blitz Pro. So, we are going to get a game in the future, but it's going to be arcade-like. For now, let's remember... NFL 2K5, and Terrell Owens on the cover. Yikes! So this is the new game that's going to come out in 2021. NFL 2K21. Now I know I didn't cover All Pro 2K8, but it didn't have the features of NFL 2K5. So this is why I'm going to review NFL 2K21. It is going to be an arcade game. They are going to make it 
good, I hope. And let's see what they're gonna put, they're gonna be putting on the table for competition against Madden NFL. NCAA 2K3, actually NCAA College Basketball 2K3, the first of the College Hoops 2K series featured Jay Williams on the cover. It had great features on the cover, on, sorry, on the game, like, like, custom tournaments, a broadcasting team, and had great reviews. ESPN College Hoops, also known as misl mislabeling, ESPN College Hoops 2K4, was another great game with TJ Ford on the cover, had great reviews, and yeah. ESPN College Hoops 2K5 was another great game. It featured a cover athlete from Stanford, um, and it proved on many of, on many things such as, the um, ESPN broadcast, and it had great reviews. Yate. College Hoops 2K6 was a good game. Had Marvin Williams on the cover. Had some great features. Yeah, yate. College Hoops 2K7 was another great game. JJ Ryder is featured on the cover. It has some great features and great reviews. Yaw yeet. College Hoops 2K8 is considered the greatest college football video game. Football? No, oh, basketball video game. The video game era uh, of the college video game era. Um, it features Greg Oden, a bust, in in the NBA. Uh, it features Legacy Mode, a new feature, and this was the last video uh college college hoops video game of the series. Yeah.